We visit the Emmanuel Eye Center in Accra, Ghana. This facility specializes in eye care, offering optometry services to an average of 120 patients a day. Although it is a non-profit organization, it's run like a business in order to optimize the benefits. This is a general outpatient where people with their patients with their relatives come and sit. They wait in the morning, take their numbers, and then they are called in to the main clinic for consultation in tens, 10, 20 at a time. So what you see here is a waiting area. We also do worship and devotion here. We also pray with the patient, do counseling and also health education. Not all the patients are able to pay for their treatments. By offering extra services to patients who can afford them, the clinic is in a position to even out the financial differences. Because formerly we have only one system, we call it cash and carry. If you come in, you pay, and then you pay for everything. But with the introduction of health insurance, people pay a premium. The only problem we have is the delay in payments. Like those people who come today with health insurance, it will take about three months before we get our reimbursement. So that, that, that is a big problem. This problem is evident in the stockroom. This is where the business element of running the clinic comes into effect. So basically it's due to either the supplier hasn't got a stock from outside or he has a stock but we haven't made a previous payment. If you don't make the previous payment due to one reason or the other, they also don't supply. So running a clinic is a real business. You've got to get a team together, the administrators, the accountants, the bankers, and then the uh, medical team. And uh, you keep going. So you always have to keep an eye on each and juggle. Hello, Rita. How are you? How's the day's work? The clinic has implemented effective ways of offering specialized services. An example of this is the outsourcing of the laboratory. This allows the clinic to cater for patients without having to fulfill additional management functions. Uh, from business point of view, it's a, a, a synergy in terms of boosting our business here and also boosting their business. That is, we partner. We really provide the clients for them and they provide the technique, technology and the, uh, the staff. Looking at what goes into uh, being an entrepreneur. I feel like <laughs> I am, because being trained a doctor and then running a separate non-for-profit uh, hospital is, is it calls for vision, calls for management, calls for administration, it calls for financial analysis, and also putting the whole thing together and then stepping back to keep it running with the team, from the staff to the patients to the place. That is what it takes to be an entrepreneur.